particularly as we get older, but also as a result of injury and disease, uh, parts of our body start to become damaged. Genetic medicine is all about applying technology to try and repair and replace those damaged areas of the body. That could be as part of a, a chronic or a degenerative disease. Uh, it could be neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, uh, chronic diseases such as diabetes. I think the whole sort of goal is to improve the quality of life, not just to prolong the life. So the best analogy to think of is a car. So over time, a car might rust or you might accidentally bump the car and uh, you want to just replace one specific part of it. You don't just want to scrap the car. So um, obviously, say if the exhaust rusts and you blow a hole, then you can simply engineer a new exhaust, attach it to the car and it's fully functional. It's a relatively new field of medicine and we're increasingly finding a lot of different applications for it. A big one that has been around for quite a while is skin grafts for burns patients, so we, we can grow artificial skin in the laboratory which can then be transplanted onto these unfortunate patients. There's other ones which are currently in clinical trials, um, some are showing promise, others less so. There's a group that took some cells, stem cells from the nose of an injured Polish fireman and they then injected these into his spinal cord. He can now walk after a fashion thanks to this regenerative medicine based stem cell therapy. Not just the therapy, but in research as well. Um, stem cells, are particularly, are a fantastic tool to uh, use for drug testing. Um, for example, my research in Alzheimer's, we're using cells taken from Alzheimer's patients, converted into stem cells and then into neurons, which are brain cells. We want to improve on existing treatment um, through new technologies and new understandings of um, biological processes. So I'm taking fundamental science and hopefully that can be translated into a clinical setting. There's relatively limited options currently in widespread use in hospitals, but there are quite a number of applications in different uh, disease areas stroke, Alzheimer's, paralysis as I've mentioned, that are currently going through clinical trials. Others are more at the research stage, so as I said with Alzheimer's, testing drugs on a stem cell model. But even if you do go through clinical trials, it's a long and lengthy and expensive process, which means that something that is promising in the lab, unfortunately, could still be you know, a number of decades away and might not work. Um, so I think it's something that we can definitely be optimistic about, and I think we will have regenerative medicine therapies in the future. The long-term um, possibilities and potential is just um, mind-blowing. I think so many people will um, you know, live longer with treatments for neurodegenerative disorders such as stroke and Alzheimer's. As long as we keep having funding and we keep having all the good research that's out there, um, I'm very confident that we'll get good regenerative medicine therapies within the next decade, maybe sooner.